Hello. This is a presentation describing factors that affect physiologic function. This is my title page that is required for my assignments at Ashford University. I could not get the font to be anything but all capital letters. I think that is just the way the designer set up this particular set. What is exercise physiology? It is explaining the physiology of human exercise. Physiology studies the short-term acute responses and also the long-term chronic adaptations to a wide variety of exercise settings. Short-term would be what is happening during the period of exercise and long-term is talking about what it takes in the hours, weeks, and months, even years after. Some of the factors that affect physiologic function during exercise are temperature, which can refer to the temperature of the environment or the temperature of the body during the activity. There are many variations in outcomes depending on the temperature of the air around the athlete. If there is a breeze, how much of a breeze, what type of clothing the athlete is wearing, and if they are getting overheated. Humidity is also a critical factor when talking about the temperature and the environment, as it can impact the cooling properties of the perspiration. Hydration is very important to the success of an athlete. The body can't perform up to its potential when it is dehydrated, especially during extended and intense exercise in environments with high temperatures. Dehydration can affect stroke volume and cardiac output in a negative way. Because there is less fluid volume to circulate, the heart has to work harder to maintain both the cardiac output and the stroke volume. Imagine a car engine that is a quart or two low on oil. It can't run as well as when it has the right amount of oil running through the system. Altitude can also affect the athlete. Many of the same factors that impacted the body during exercise are also important when the body is at rest. You will see the same factors here as on the previous slide. Temperature can cause a rise in heart rate even at rest. A body at rest in the cold will shiver to try to get warmer. A body at rest in the heat will sweat to try to cool itself off by the process of evaporation. Hydration is also important. Water is important to every body process from circulation, getting rid of waste, brain function, breathing and moisturizing the inhaled air, to every other vital process. It is much harder on the body at higher altitudes, even at rest. A body has to acclimate or get used to higher elevations to prevent the onset of altitude sickness, which can happen even at rest. Cardiac output and stroke volume are both less when resting. They get a signal to increase when the body is in motion. Resting ventilation values of 5 to 6 liters per minute can rapidly increase with exercise to a need for greater than 100 liters per minute. Oxygen requirements are less during rest. A body at rest has the same basic needs of oxygen, glucose, and energy. It just does not need as much of them. A body in motion, especially in intense motion, may have to use anaerobic systems to power brief bursts of intense activity. A body at rest can run well on aerobic systems to power the basic functions. The body at rest still needs to be properly hydrated. The body has amazing abilities to adjust respiratory rate, heart rate, and even systems of energy based on the immediate and long-term needs. It always tries to maintain a state of homeostasis or equilibrium. Both states require fuel. Once again, the resting body requires less fuel than the body in motion. With an increase in activity, the need for oxygen increases. The body generates heat when it performs its metabolic processes. Breathing and the exchange of oxygen for the waste gas of carbon dioxide is one of those metabolic processes. During heavy exercise, the oxygen demand increases, and that is accompanied by more metabolic processes. Those cause heat in the body. 
more oxygen consumption means a proportionate increase in body heat that heat builds up and the body then perspires in an attempt to cool the body by evaporation of the sweat here is the reference page if you have any questions i would be happy to answer them for you thank you for watching my video